and staying safe. So we are going to start with our last tour and today we are going to visit Vietnam. So the pilot in command for the today's flight is Captain Nishtha. So over to you, Dr. Nishtha. Thank you, Manbir. Hello, everyone. How are you all? Hi, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. So you're ready for the tour? Vietnam yes, ma'am. All right, let's start the tour then. So, first of all, we'll see the location of Vietnam. So, Vietnam is located in the Southeast Asia. It is bordered by the South China Sea and the Gulf of Tonkin to the east, China to the north, and Laos and Cambodia to the west. The flag of Vietnam and the coat of arms so this is the vietnamese flag so what all does it consist of it consists of a star in between and a red background basically so this yellow color of the star this is actually denoting the vietnamese race the people there the red background denotes the blood and the five pointed star this represents the workers peasants intellectuals soldiers and traders yes arika ma'am can you show the previous slide yeah sure here it is thank you ma'am most welcome okay and now the vietnamese coat of arms the big star here at the top of this emblem it refers the socialist regime which was led by the communist party of vietnam it also recalls the epic history of the country and the solidarity of the vietnamese people and it also shows the bright future of the society under the leadership of that party of what of the communist party now the two rice water shoots here here can you see this on the left and right? The rice water shoots. They represent the Vietnamese. Now, some general information about Vietnam. The capital of Vietnam is Hanoi. The largest city is Ho Chi Minh City. The language which is spoken there on a wide basis is Vietnamese. Now the population, it is 8 crore 73 lakh 75 thousand. That's huge, isn't it? A lot. Yeah, it's actually yes, that's a lot. Much. Yes. And there are 54 ethnic minorities there. Now Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. Hanoi is an old city. It's actually around 1000 years old and it is the center for culture there. It is the capital city and the center for culture. Now the national animal of Vietnam. Now this is something strange. It's a water buffalo. Something quite weird, no? Like for the no, host no. of a national animal. It, no? I mean, I mean, um, water buff. I mean, a water buffalo. Then I, I mean. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean? Tell me, tell me. I mean, they, they just couldn't choose any other animal, so they just went with this one. So this, they just chose whatever fellow. Okay, good one. Okay, and the national flower of Vietnam is lotus. This is the city there, the Hanoi, the capital city of Vietnam. Now, Ho Chi Minh City. This is a young and the crowdest and the biggest city of Vietnam. It is 300 years old. The population is 64,24,519. And the other name for this place, for which place for Ho Chi Minh City is Saigon. See this. Beautiful, no? Yes, ma'am. It's yeah. wonderful. Very. Yes, yes it is. There's a population there, the crowd, the traffic. Oh God, look at this. Okay, now that let's come is to the a history. lot. Yes, that is a lot. 
after all it's around 8 crore there so the history the chinese political and cultural influence was there from 111 bc to 939 ad french colonization was from 1858 to 1945 and from 1945 to 1954 the japanese invasion was from 1944 to 1945 just for one year then the american occupation was from 1954 to 1975 and they celebrated their independence day on 30th may 1975 now the geography and nature high mountains in the north here it is the high mountains present in the north and the plains in the south long beaches across vietnam wow this is so so magnificent and beautiful i really want to be there who's with me ma'am i do Oh yes, thank you, Sajana. We'll be we'll be going there together then. <laughs> yeah. Okay, ma. Okay. It looks Now the quite seasons. beautiful. Yes, it is very beautiful. Now the seasons in Vietnam. The hot season is from February to May. The temperature ranges around twenty-eight to thirty-seven degree Celsius. The rainy season is from June to January. So that means the rest of the time is rainy season there. Other than oh. Feb, March, April, and May. Wow! Look at this. So dry and now floody, yeah. like after some time. It's, it's extremely hot there. Twenty-eight to thirty-seven is also quite hot, no? And then and look the at the, and then and then look at it's all floods. Yes, even that time it's around twenty-four to thirty-three degree. Not really low. Now the religion which is followed there most, uh, like you know, the most followed religion there is Buddhism. then is christianity then taoism and then the other religions are there so the most followed one is buddhism there so 85 percent people follow buddhism that that's a lot that's a yes, lot of that's, that's, that's a lot of percent if there. you count till 100 yes of course Now, what is the belief? The main belief of Buddhism. The Buddhists embrace the concepts of karma. So, are you aware of karma? The law of cause and effect. Any idea? Abir, Arika, Ansh, anyone? What is karma? Any any brief idea about that? I don't know. Okay. Uh, in very simple words, you can say this. speed with which yes yes please sorry i could not hear who spoke ma'am ansh ansh yes ansh ma'am the belief of karma is like the god's law if we do the nice work then we will have the good karma and if we do bad work we will have the bad karma very good very good that's a good explanation so to be even more simple for this you can say you know if the speed with which you throw a ball okay just imagine the speed with which you throw a ball at some wall or at some any other place the ball comes back to you with the same speed this is what you can understand with karma so whatever you sow so shall you reap understood now yes or no my dear guest yes or no yeah yes ma'am okay and others no not clear yeah excuse yes, me ma'am yes yes excuse i'm ma'am arika your voice is cracking i could not hear you properly Yes, ma'am. Actually, I was uh, showing that Oji I'm means sorry, city. Sorry, Arika. I, so can I, I cannot, just come I to that slide you. and just take a screenshot and just understand? Which slide are you talking about? Hello. Am I audible? 
Yes, yes. Which slide are you talking about? Okay, there is some issue on Arika's agenda, I guess. So, so let's move ahead. Okay, yes. So, where were we? Karma. Yeah. So, did anyone understand that or no? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Great. And reincarnation. So, these are the two main concepts which are followed in Buddhism. Karma and reincarnation. Reincarnation means it is a continuous cycle of rebirth. Okay. Now, the traditional clothes which are worn there. The northern and the southern region clothes. So, this is the most common one and the most famous one. It's Aodai. This is the most wearable, uh, you know, garment you can say. For men, is it? It's like this, and for the weddings, it's like this. It looks beautiful and elegant, no? Yes. They look quite clever like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cunning, you can say. Okay. Now the food, fruits, and restaurants. So there they eat by chopsticks, and they drink tea a lot. The main food there is rice and noodles. Who likes noodles? I love noodles. Who else? I love spaghetti noodles. Okay, and others? Oh, no one else likes noodles. Okay. Now, diversification in tropical fruits. So, there are different fruits available there. The restaurants, there are hundreds and thousands of restaurants in Vietnam. And something very strange is that eating in restaurants is much cheaper than cooking at home. Quite opposite of ours, isn't it? Now, the map of Vietnam's international and domestic airports. So these red ones are the domestic airports. The blue ones are the international airports. And the green ones are the new airports, like in the future, they'll be there. So what is like, you know, more in number, the domestic ones or the blue ones, the international ones? Someone? Do they look, look almost similar? The domestic and international ones? Come on, don't count them. Just give a random guess. Uh, what? What was the question again? <laughs> the question was the domestic. Yes, Anj? Ma'am, I thought there is 11 blue international airports. Okay. There are 12, actually. The international ones. I guess there's about 22. Domestic hmm, is around 11. 22. No, domestic is 11 and international is uh how much did i say 12 <laughs> 12 yes i'm sorry yeah so they are almost similar right in number like i thought domestic are more than international they are much just one number less domestic yeah, airports one less so here we come to the end of this tour so please don't leave and over to manbeer now Okay, thank you, Dr. Nishtha, for the wonderful session. So I hope you all have enjoyed your tour. So as you all know, that today is the last event of our of this tour. So I would like to know, like one by one, can you tell me your experience or your feedbacks? How about Abir? Yeah, it was good. Okay, so uh, can I know from Ansh? Did you yes, like the tour? Yes, ma'am. It's wow. nice. Okay, so now uh, we are going to give you some titles like a few uh, kids were, a few, few guests, guests were really interactive with us. So we really want to give you a few titles. So the first one being here is the West Fat Sharer. So unfortunately, Arahan is not with us, but we'll share it with him. So uh, the Best Fat Sharer Award goes to the Arahan. 
Then next we have is the best presentation award. So Rohita, she gave a few good presentations. So this award goes to the Rohita. Okay, so then we have one more, the best fat sharer. So it goes to the Arika again. So Arika, are you here? Yes, ma'am. So congratulations, you have been awarded for the best fact sharer for the virtual world tour. Thank you. So we will be sharing these certificates with you soon. Okay, so as we all know, the animal enthusiast, Abhi Shivastav. So congratulations, Abhi. I know it was me only. Yeah. <laughs> So one more award goes to Arika that is for the best presentation. So we had Rohita as well as the Arika with us for the presentations. So congratulations, Arika. So that was all few titles which we would like you. to give to you all. So I would thank, like to thank our other guests as well for being with us, Pranjal and Chan, all of the guests who have been with us. And I hope you all have enjoyed and learned as well. So I hope you all have a good future. So best of luck, everyone. Thank you. So, so before sending you the certificate, so I would like to ask your feedback. So if possible, Please, all of you, share your feedback on WhatsApp. Even you can uh, you can text me on the WhatsApp number. You can share your feedback and you can have your certificates. Okay, so I'll request everyone to please switch on the camera so we can have one uh, picture all together, as it's the farewell for all of you, us and the last session. So I would request everyone to please switch on your camera for a picture. Can I have everyone's camera on? Oh, Thank finally, you, Ansh. finally I get to see Ansh. <laughs> Thank you, Sajana. Okay, quick, quick, everyone, quick. Thanks, Pranjal. Okay, thanks, Kavya. Thank you. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed today's tour. So, bye everyone. Enjoy your day. Bye, ma'am. Thank you so bye, much. Bye, everyone. All the best. <laughs>